Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goo. I'm the Goo, and we're going to have a conversation. Uh, I thought this week I would talk about something a little more um, serious, <laughs> uh, but not really like a public service announcement, just um, fun. Comic book shops. Uh, Growing up, I was never allowed to buy comic books. I don't know why, but my mom always thought that was they were a waste of money, uh, so she never let me get them. Then when I got old enough, I bought my own comic books. I got I got this uh, stamp collecting comic book that was like a bunch of short stories of history and the superheroes being involved in it. Uh, one of them is Superman helping the Kitty Hawk fly or telling us how it happened or something. And uh, there's just each each one's two pages, and there's a spot to put a stamp on each one. Um, that was like the first comic book I ever bought. First real comic book I ever got was this Fantastic Four annual comic book. And um, sorry that the screen shaking made us just ran through and knocked the camera stand, and it started to vibrate. Um, but yeah, so it was this, uh, and it came with a little. Um, they call them an actate or an acetate. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's it's pretty much it's a film cell. So it's a clear sheet with the two characters on it. And luckily I got the thing, because that was like my favorite of the Fantastic Four. Other than Spider-Man, he's my favorite, you know, Marvel character. And uh, I actually lucked into getting that one. And uh, so I was super excited. I actually bought one on eBay. Well, not on eBay, for mycomicshops.com, which is like a local comic shop, but online. Um, every time I've had to deal with them, it's been very, very nice uh, customer service. And, uh, but they, they were able to look at the UPC of the unopened blind bag and know which, which film cell came in which one and send me the one with the thing in it. So I got that framed and hung in my, my uh, room. Um, but my, so, so when I got older, you know, I, by the time I was old enough to start buying things on my own other than few comic books here and there that I don't even remember. I never really bought many comics, and so then when I was fully grown um, and moved here to Michigan, I would get Christmas money and would go to Christmas shops, or you know, comic shops, and pick up some comic books you know, here and there, usually full full novels or specific issues that I want to get signed and they're hung in my room. Uh, that's when I found Koi's Comics out in Saginaw. I've talked about them before in Gulps, Gulps and Games. Um, the owner, Steve, he's treated me like I was, you know, uh, a normal customer, a um, repeat customer from day one. I got these little little uh, Green Lantern rings that uh, it's just they have different color corps. And I wanted to collect all of them. They're like ninety nine cents, and he had a whole whole bucket full of them. So I'd go in and buy a couple of comics and one of those, and he would always just throw that on free of charge, you know. And and I, it's like you see me like once maybe twice a year and you're treating me like I'm a regular customer that kept me coming back and now I am a regular customer I actually have a poll that I go and get I try to get it uh, I used to get it like bi-weekly when I actually when places were more open but now I go probably about monthly and uh, you know they, they hold comics for me they do online videos where they sell their comics and they have like you got it you say the number, uh, the letter in the comic book, and that's yours, and you pay for it, and you get really good deals on them, and it's just, they treat every customer like they're a regular customer, and that just keeps you coming back. Like, I've been to other comic book shops, I'm not going to name them because I don't want to make it sound like I'm bashing them, but it's just, you know, you go in, and they're like, they don't even say hi to you, you ask questions, they're like, nope, we don't got that, where Steve is like, well, let me look. There's a lot of looking to see if he has it. And then he says, let me look if I can order it for you. And usually I do that. Uh, I got, I wanted to get this um, new uh, death metal cover. Um, it looks really awesome. It's uh, Batman playing the electric guitar. And uh, when they thought, he thought I was joking because they hadn't seen it. It's a 125 rarity. So they didn't, he didn't even see it yet. And 
he was a little too late to order it, but then he asked around and found someone who accidentally got an extra one and got that for me. And he went all, all that trouble to get me a comic book. So I definitely like to keep going and I try to send business there. Uh, I highly recommend if you live in the area, Coy's Comics out in Saginaw on Bay Road, the place to go. I mean, they just, they treat every customer like a regular and it's just, it's a great place. And, I love, I wish that I had I'd gotten more into comics when I was younger. I've spent a lot of money on comics, but to me it's worth it. And that too, uh, I will buy games, figures, Funkos from them. Uh, even if it's, I bought a game once and it was like $3 cheaper if I bought it online, but I'm going to buy it through them because I'm supporting them and, well, kind of, but I'm, I'm giving them my business. and. I'd rather pay the extra $3 for a friendly business like that than get a deal from an invisible store online. Uh, it's just, it's worth it. So uh, if, you, if you like comics, if you like Funkos, uh, they have all sorts of stuff and they're very, very great at it. You tell them what you're looking for. Uh, I, I said I wanted to, I have a friend who's um, a lesbian and she wanted something, a, a book that had a lesbian protagonist because there really aren't very many so I went in there and I, I asked Brandy that and she was like yeah I, got, I know exactly what one, one that's perfect and my friend loves the book I bought her the next volume of it too because of how much she liked the first volume and it's just you, you tell them like I'm looking for something like this and this and this and they're like I know what you want <laughs> so it's a uh, really nice having a local comic book shop to go to it's a lot more uh, friendly than just buying online, which I used to do. So, uh, but definitely support your local comic shops. And uh, just remember, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.